Alrighty then. Let's see. What's next? Cherish. The monks of Cuthbert the Thrice Martyred have gathered to crush the feeble keeper Malleus. Whilst being a comparative weakling, Malleus is cunning beyond his years and has allied himself with a legion of the undead who will fight for him because of the benefits that the portal gem will give to them. He hopes to turn the entire chapter into vampires. And if he was successful, he would prove to be a powerful adversary. His plans must be halted. Time to Behold torture some monks. The monastery of Cuthbert the Thrice Martyred. See the pious monks perform their holy customs. Oh, so peaceful scenes. But somewhere lurking in the shadows hides the rival keeper Malleus, poising, ready to attack. He'll slay the monks and turn them into vampires. Then he'll turn on you. But it's in your power to prevent this carnage. Not that carnage is all bad. Yet in this case, such prevention may be worth the prize, the portal gem, which Malleus holds with undeserved pride. Freeze trap. You got a level 8 guy in there. That's not nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Where's a portal at, eh? Feel like I need that first. There's one. Oh, and I'm going to be learning a new spell, too. Interesting. You need a treasury to store gold. Or I can just spend the gold. Eh? You ever think of that? I'll need to make that bigger, but for now, it is something. A goblin has become unhappy because he has no lair. Bullshit. Before I break through there, though, I do need to get the torture chamber in prison rolling. Oh, 
Should be good for prison in here. There is a secret known to monks which tells of vampires slain, whose method of destruction will deny them chance of life again. This knowledge is employed by them to overcome these fiends outright and banish them forever from the land of living to eternal night. That's why I need monks. I wish the prison was a little bigger, though. Uh, there. Actually, no, not those spots yet. I don't know what's going to happen over there. Get him, lads. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Oh, yo. Where do you think you're going? Did not give you permission to leave? These monks in jail. Can you not reach that one? There we go. Well, hello, sneaky Kynmer. Wait, what happened to the I picked him up. Rory. Ohio to you too. Or in my case, Ontario. Okay, we need this bugger up here. Where's this other fight happening? Oh. Okay, never mind. Bash our door down later. We need emergency. Oh no. Tell me you lack weed. How terrible.
a casino. There we go. Your dungeon heart is under attack. No, yours is. I'm not 100% sure if the torture effect works without there being mistresses around. Oh my god, look at them all. So many. It is payday. Need that portal though. Hmm. Where are you guys going? Are you invading over there? Or are you just hanging out over the, going over there then? Oh. Alright. Time to get this portal claimed then. It's not so heavily guarded anymore. Gotta make sure none of these guys die in here. Casino is too small. A creature has died in your prison and has risen as a skeleton. successfully converted an enemy creature in the tour. Well, that answers that. Nice. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Hell yeah. Alright, giant. And wizard. Lots of gems. I don't know what's going on with these tunnels back here, but I don't want to expand them too much yet. Okay, and I should get a library going. to store gold. Roll. Arrow. The portal. I'm on keep the game there. How's your day been? Um, all hour of it so far has been okay. 
Yeah, yeah. I've been out. Thing another day. Since I had to work Sunday, I went and uh, today treated my dad to Father's Day lunch. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I heard about some people complaining about how their Father's Day dinner plans fell through because of have successfully how busy the restaurant was. It was like, the oh, you, well, you, if you do Father's Day dinner, you got to make reservations. Yeah, well, mine was simply because I had two I had to work that day. You have claimed the rule. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I just mean, like, if you're, if you're planning on doing that, like, you should yeah. really... Right. Do a, don't rely on a walk-in. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Same for any holiday, really. Yeah. No, that's that. Well, you've arrived just in time for for me to be uh, torturing some monks into joining my ranks, t so I can Whoa. fight vampires with them. Mm. <laughs> Inquisition, what I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And back home now, and I said I'm gonna make some popcorn. So what was for lunch? Uh, I'm raising raising canes. That's a. Oh, I've been wanting to. I've, I've been curious about that place, but we don't have them around here. Yeah, it's probably this. Sorry, I, I pronounced that wrong. We don't have them around here. They're starting to make their way north of us, but you know, they're largely a southern part of America. But now, uh, anyways, yeah, they're very good. You like chicken fingers, and who don't? You like that? The standard thing, chicken tenders, fries, and a flab of Texas toast. Mm-hmm. I prefer st more standard toast, personally, but... Those other things uh, sound good. Yeah. Uh, the main selling point for... It, it's the sauce. It's yeah. the the dipping sauce. I mean, everybody loves that Cane's dipping sauce. You can even do these. So what is it? It's a uh, well, the standard name I hear it called a comeback sauce. I think that may be related to something else, but uh, it's it's like a spicy mayo, like a mayo, ketchup, chili sauce, little onion, garlic powder, a little Worcestershire sauce. Nice. Like I said, it's like a spicy mayo, but uh, yeah, it's uh, well, tasty. Be more of a major war than I was looking for. <laughs> Yeesh. I was really having some elements, and I started playing this again on my phone. A new I think I told you I don't know playing Clash of Clans again. Uh yeah, you did mention. And I've never played that know. actually. I've I've seen what it looks mm -hmm. like, but I have never played it. Yeah, I played them. I think I played another thing Supercell makes, which is called uh, Boom Beat. It's about I have the no same idea what that is. <laughs> that's more kind of a military... Well, this looks like a more medieval fantasy base. Boom Beat is more like a modern military base thing. Alright. That's about the same thing. You're building your base up, building troops. Oh, that. Yeah, I've been recently playing a, a game that came out. Well, it's been in early access for a while, but it just came out of early access recently called uh, right. Empire of the Undergrowth. Hmm. Which is basically this kind of an idea, but you're in, playing an ant colony. Hmm. So, you know, you don't have the spells and stuff, but you've got right. different kinds of ants. Like, different levels have different gimmicks that you need to pay attention to right. you play as different types of ants so like if you're playing leaf cutter ants it plays much differently than when you're playing wood ants or black ants or fire ants it's pretty neat I like it you need a graveyard to well, store corpses. I'm building up my let's see I suppose I could do a graveyard. The graveyard. The graveyard. Woo! Your graveyard is full of the dead. Make it larger. I can't. It's Your expensive. Is too small. I 
I need a lot more money. There's not much money left to be found. As far as I can tell. I, I should explore over here, though. I should also explore there. There's some suspicious mm. corners here. Mm. Could hold secrets. A creature has died in your mm. prison. No, and has Get. risen as a skeleton. Oh yeah, so what's my prison right now? Researched. Monk, I need the monk. The monk, the monk, the monk, the monk. The monk, the monk, the monk. I need a The monk, the monk, the monk. Oh, that monk. The monk, the monk, the monk. I see you have discovered a magical item. I'm making a popcorn. If they'll make popcorn on the stove top at all? You know, I never have. Yeah, it's not hard to do. This is... Any old pop... You get regular old kernel popcorn. It's good for it. Uh, if you don't have a nice, heavy, uh, bodied uh, saucepan like I do, because he is in the company of it's good for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh... You can, you know, there's cert certain oil, you need know, oil with a higher, like, burn temp, or what do you call it, than most. Yeah, I know what you mean. Popcorn will burn. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, a lot of brands, a lot of popcorn brands make their own oil for that. Otherwise, something like soybean or uh, been upgraded. coconut oil will work. Well, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't canola oil work? I don't know what the temp for that is. I mean, that's what a lot of restaurants use for their deep fryers. So I'd think so. But anyways, I got, uh... Like, I know Orville Redenbacher makes a popcorn oil, and so does, uh... Ah, oh, what's the name of that? Uh, yeah, Colonel Seasons, which makes all those... Uh, popcorn flavorings, they make their own oil too, so. Anyways, just put it in a pot, turn about medium high heat, and then throw about three kernels in there. Once they've popped, you know it's ready. Fair enough. Yeah, and then, uh, heat them, and then. I was read about this. I been, yeah, read on how to do it correctly, and then take your thing off the heat, put in the rest of your kernels, give them a good swirl about for 30 seconds, and uh, then return the heat and put the lid on, leave a little crack open, and uh, I can just keep an eye on it and let it I shake it around every now and again so you get even heat and nothing burns on the bottom. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. And yeah, it comes out really good. Nice. And flavor it however you want to after. You can use plain old butter, uh, salt, whatever flavorings. I was making it yesterday. I put some Cajun seasoning on it. Ooh. I haven't done that with popcorn before. Yeah, Cajun seasoning, taco seasoning, and some Southwest seasoning. I also got from this kind of there's. You got some ranch seasoning. That'll be good to shake on there. You have discovered a magical item. Your possession spell has been upgraded. <laughs> oh. 
A warlock has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. Your creatures have been made happy. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. Your blessed with experience. Mm -hmm. Experience. There we go. Nice big rooms. Okay. I suppose I should make a guard room just so I can get some elves. Your psychic oh. evil spell has been upgraded. I don't use the guard room really, but you know, yeah. having some ranged guys would be nice. Your other than my mages. You as their master. How goes the Doki Do you life in Doki Doki Dungeon Club? Pretty good. In the torture chamber. We put a lot of monks in the torture chamber, so we're finding a lot of love today. Hmm. In fact, I think it is time to save and then start messing around. Game saved. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Your tremor spell has been upgraded. I hope I don't accidentally stumble across the enemy's uh, dungeon before I get the rest of these monks. Speaking of which, I should build more layer space. <laughs> Maybe a lot more. <laughs> and more chickens. Chickens. Bog walk. A new species of creature yes. has entered your dungeon. Bacard. Your prison is under attack. A prison? How irregular. Your turncoat spell has been upgraded. There is nothing left to research. Time to repair the prison and then put these guys in it. Get fireballed, sucker! Your casino is too small. Your casino is too small. Suppose I could make more casino. It's just. Big enough to do anything? Has become unhappy because he has no eh, layer. Barely. Alright, monk. You're the next lucky contestant. Prison. I 
guess I could just keep that as it is, eh? You have taken over an enemy bridge. They make funny noises. Why the music got all excited there for a minute? Become unhappy because she has no layer. Well, set up a layer then, dumbass. There's plenty of space. You have taken over an enemy bridge. It is payday. So I was trying out something yesterday, and that was interesting. They have this. Somebody made a. Uh, a total remake of the, of the first Castlevania called Revamped. Yeah. Which is a good pun. Um, but basically they turned the first Castlevania game into an actual uh, Metroidvania. Huh. It's kind of interesting, but I got I got stuck at one point. I couldn't progress and I couldn't figure out where to go to get the ability I needed to progress. So I think the conveyance is, lacks a little bit, but not bad. And it's, you know, a fan mod type thing, so it's free. Mm. I've got so the... Uh, hmm? Well, I have... On my Switch, I've got, like, the Castlevania collection. Let me see here. Now, it's in the revamp, but it is... I mean, it's for the, the Switch. Let's see. Castlevania... Anniversary Collection, which has, let's see, Castlevania, one, two, three, four, let's see, nice. we got Castlevania The Adventure, Castlevania 2 Belmont Revenge, Castlevania Bloodlines, Creature has and I know, Kid Dracula never released in English before. I don't know much about any of that. Mm. The two marked as Castlevania 2. There's Simon's Quest and Belmont's Revenge. But yeah, that's one of the ones I have. Mm -hmm. See what the other I got. I also have the Castlevania Advanced Collection. So, like, so Circle of the Moon and stuff, then, or? Mm hmm. It's got, uh, let's see. Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, Aria of Sorrow. Uh, yeah, those are good. We have Dracula X, which is for the uh, SNES, a reimagination of Rondo of Blood. You have taken over an enemy torture chamber. So, yeah. Nice. I have both of those for my switch. Oh shit! You have taken over an enemy bridge. There's shenanigans afoot. Some of your creatures are unable to get to the core to our flag. Get him. You have taken over an enemy bridge. Violence them. Kill in my name. I mean, I don't know if the one for the what the difference between the one they redid for the Switch and the revamped. I mean, well, 
huge difference, I would imagine. One of them is you have official and one of them is not. Enemy <laughs> yeah. the but also, if they call it a Metroidvania style game, wasn't that what the original Castlevania was? No, absolutely not. It was linear. The, ver the first Metroidvania was uh, Symphony of the Night. Really? Hmm. Because that was the first time you had a Castlevania game that played like a Metroid game. Like exploration wise. So what exactly... Some what makes something a Metroidvania game? I mean, I thought it had just uh, like a platform, like a side-scrolling platform. They're usually side-scroller, but they they can be 3D. But um, mostly it's a game with uh, exploration and a map and areas that you can't get through when you first reach them necessarily. Mm -hmm. But then later on, you find a new ability that will allow you to get through it, like a double jump or a grappling hook or mm. error dash or something or other. So it's got a bit of backtracking and mm. secret finding using those elements. Mm. That's generally what makes it a Metroidvania. Because, you know, that's what Metroid games are like, right? Yeah. Like doors you can't get through until you find the missile. Uh, you know, areas you can't crawl under until you find the morph ball. Stuff like that. Actually, I like how Symphony of the Night did it too. Because you had stuff like... Uh, you know, like a set of bars blocking away somewhere. That you couldn't get through until you've got the ability to turn into a into mist because your character in that game was a vampire. The based on the template from Metroid Castlevania 2, Super Metroid, and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I guess, actually I guess Castlevania 2 is a little bit like a Metroidvania. Mm -hmm. okay. But we did we didn't start using the term until Symphony of the Night. Hmm. What I call Soul Reaver Metroidvania? I, I haven't played it, so I, I couldn't really say. Hmm. In a way, though, I guess you could call a typical Zelda game a Metroidvania. It's not a very solidly defined genre exactly, but that's generally the way I see it. <laughs> Using special abilities to grant you access to new places rather than just keys or something. Hmm. God has become angry because he has no food. And I think game dis <sighs> still wakes the deep. Apparently, a new horror oh, game. I just, yeah, that that just hit uh, Game Pass today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I installed it just before I started uh, the stream, but it's probably going to be a while before I get around to playing it because I got a lot of other stuff to get through. Also, uh, Chocolate Factory just came out today. I'm more excited to play that one. Or should I say play again, because I played the demo. Mm. But, you know, play again for, for proper real. Mm. Ooh. That will look interesting. Your casino is Does it now? 
I'm looking at the trailer for it. Died in your prison. Still wakes the deep or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like some sort of weird horror game on like a, a boat or a oil rig oil or something. Rig. Yeah. Yeah. December 1975, disaster strikes an oil rig off the coast of Scotland. Save your crew from an otherworldly horror. If it's not uh if it's not Dagon and the Deep Ones, I'm gonna be disappointed. Mm. Unless there's tentacles involved, in which case I'll feel better. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. <laughs> you have taken over an enemy brute. Well, there are some tentacles, alright. Alright, good. Also, <laughs> some some body, like, bodies deformed or mashed together. Oh, weird. Yeah. You have yeah. successfully converted a bit of creature in the torture. Lovecraftian and normal, kind of, come out of Lovecraftian and Cronenbergian. <laughs> Of course, in Bergen, that's a good term, too. Oh, well, if you've ever seen David Cronenberg's early movies, like, uh, The Brood and, uh, <laughs> Gibbers and stuff like that, yeah, he was big on the body horror. So was Stuart Gordon in his early movies, like, uh, the Reanimator movies and From Beyond. Reanimator, huh? Yeah. Which both of those were loosely based on Lovecraft stories. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I haven't seen that movie, but there is a Lovecraft story called Herbert West Reanimator. Yeah, it's, like I said, loosely based on that. Mm. Well, it can't be too 100% accurate, otherwise it would be very short and kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. Successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Oh, geez, what is this? Uncle Roger posted a video. Denmark recalls South Korean firm's instant noodles for being too spicy. Damn. Denmark, why so weak? <laughs> or maybe those noodles are just kind of insane. I've had this company's noodles. Yeah, it was like... It took about three glasses of milk to finish the, to finish the bowl. Oof. And that was probably the low-end spicy stuff. So not the real spicy from that brand. So yeah. He said, no wonder they're insane over there. They're frying yeah. their brains with the spicy crap. <laughs> that's why I want the... Uh, I want them to make something that's like half strength of flaming Hot Cheetos, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, just, just call it Hot Cheetos. Over oh, it's God, the same. Somebody, it's the same flavor as the, as the flame and hot, but but half mm -hmm. the spice. Somebody was doing a thing. It was uh, from a Nikocado avocado video. He was basically I don't know how to Takis flavored uh, instant noodles. Like Takis blue flavored instant Your noodles. Huh. Get to a prison. I've never had um, Takis, but aren't, aren't they kind of like a, a chip type thing? Yeah. They're like chips or... Like you know, bugles? They look more like those uh, Cheetos Twists. Or... Let me put Takis. I've never eaten... A, they're like little rolled up... Yeah, they're like, they're like halfway between bugles and Doritos. <laughs> yeah, look like rolled up tortilla chips. Yeah, I've never had them, but I've, I've seen them. I have had one or two kinds, and those were the not spicy ones. They had just a regular nacho flavor. Uh, they had, oh, this one, uh, intense nacho. So, not hot, just very cheesy. Interesting. Uh, blue heat, which is supposed to be the hottest one. They have, this is interesting, Taki's Kaboom, which is a ketchup and sriracha flavor. Huh, weird. Uh, Taki's also, oh, they make nuts now. Hey. Taki's hot nuts. Hot nuts, I got hot nuts. <laughs> I used to think when I smelled the boiled peanuts at the ball game, I'm like, hot nuts, I got hot nuts. Has become angry because he has Me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> A monk has become unhappy because he has no lair. Now this one was supposed to be a lesser, not as hot as, say, 
For the blue heat, it's a uh, Tahi's Dragon Sweet Chili flavor. Interesting. Yeah, uh, but Nach Nacho Explosion, which is like a jalapeno nacho flavor. They hit the. Uh, they're doing. Yeah, they're doing chip at one point. I guess they stopped doing that. Doing what? Chips, just chips, chips, yes, like potato chips. Converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. But yeah, the only non-spice they got is the intense nacho. And they're good, cheesy. Very, very cheesy. Very, very cheesy. I'm unhappy because he has no food. A, a giant is left. Nacho explosion. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get to see the movie stream from my friends last night. They were showing The Founder. I was one about Ray Kroc. The guy who basically took McDonald's into a... Made them into a nationwide little worldwide franchise. But in doing so, kind of shut out the original McDonald brothers who started it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that figures. Uh, uh, stars Michael Keaton as Ray Kroc. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know. Now, last week I told you about we were watching the Ford vs. Ferrari. Now, there's a good movie. It has risen as a skeleton. Yeah? Yeah, it basically is about when this is in the early 60s, Ford, they're sailed on a downward trend. They're, <clears throat> they'd had to get over cars like the Edsel eating it hard, so uh, they need a shot in the arm, so, and after it failed trade deal with Ferrari, they said, okay, we're going to make our own new cars, and to show it off, we're going to beat Ferrari at the Le Mans 24-hour uh, race. So they go to sports car designer oh, Carol yeah. Shelby to design their new car. Cool. It's a good movie. Uh, and then, of course, he gets hot-headed driver uh, Nick Miles to drive the thing. It's a really good story. I mean, even if you don't really like racing movies, you may like this one. Uh, it stars Matt Damon and Christian Bale. Matt Damon! I'm never doing I love it during one argument where he's basically trying to give a pep talk to... Christian and Matt tell him like he's afraid of afraid of racing, he's afraid of winning, and Chris throws a wrench in his head. He ducks out of the way, it smashes part of the windshield on their car. Of course, he gets in the car and he's at the start. And one guy's looking over, "What happened to your windshield?" It's got like tape along where the jacket edges. A new design we're trying out. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he completes and wins the race. Mm -hmm. And Matt hands the. Uh, that wrench he'd thrown at him was onto a chief mechanic said, have this framed. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of becomes a little talking point, a couple points in the movie, which is neat. <laughs> he actually has a wizard the, uh, has that wrench framed. <laughs> nice. You have successfully interrogated mm -hmm. an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Map information uh, I'm looking at the Catan pay, uh, the Twitter page or have uh, Catan a Game of Thrones Catan a vampire has risen in your graveyard hey I get a vampire now I'm happy because he hasn't been paid. sorry that was Catan what edition uh, Game of Thrones edition oh weird is it just like renamed stuff or something or it's kind of set up. There's like, there's, I can see on the board, there's all little square or hexes and things, but along one side of the board is the wall. Oh, weird. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, how this is played. Let's see if there's a link. Oh, there's the Night's I mean, Watch. that makes sense overall, but it's just a bit strange. <laughs> the Brothers of the Night's Watch seek a new leader from among their ranks. Uh, let's see. Game of Thrones. Take on the role of the Brothers of the Night's Watch and use the resources to strengthen their hold on the North by building roads, settlements, and keeps. 
recruiting guards for their patrol or buying development cards. Each of these acts bring players increased power and recognition throughout the awarding of victory points. The first player to achieve times when the game becomes a new commander of the Night's Watch, but this is not a duty that's found. The area surrounding the gift can be treacherous. Wildlings from north of the wall have crossed over and follow their own rules of honor. Huh. This you have successfully converted. It looks, yeah, it's different. That's Catan games for you there. Yeah. That was a brutal little place for a battle. Oh my god, I should not have attacked that. <laughs> oh god, oh, here. Wow. the games. New encounters. Catan. Catan Hawaii scenario. Interesting. Catan Soccer Fever. Whatever that means. Yeah, it's like. Oh, it's not, it's not a game. I don't know how that works. Weird. It is payday. But do you Catan? Um, Catan Treasures Dragons. Oh yeah, I play it on the mobile game. I haven't checked back with the PC game in a while. They've been having some trouble. Lo I won't let me log on to it, and I don't know. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. It's just kind of buffers forever before I can before I can even. Look to long on. Let's see. Reminds me of some of the shenanigans that uh, I've been seeing too. With uh, but, uh, Game Pass has at least has a couple of games from uh, from EA on mm -hmm. it, but of course EA insists that everybody goes through their launcher to play their stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, for example, Jedi Survivor. Mm. If I uh, if I try to install that through the Game Pass software, yeah, then it launches the EA software. Yeah, and then you're supposed to link the two accounts together so that it recognizes you have Game Pass, and I did that, but it doesn't recognize it properly, so. You have success Even though Game Pass says I'm supposed to be able to play this game because I have Game Pass, EA is like, you have to buy it. I see you have discovered mm. a magical item. So that's a bit annoying. There we go. Steam community. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Mm -hmm. You've taken over an enemy room. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Oh, I got 11 monks, that's pretty good. And there's some more... You've taken over an enemy grab in here. You have successfully converted an enemy creature <laughs> in the torture chamber. Neither of us know the story, Larson? Uh, I, I don't know that there is a story. So I guess not. A monk has become unhappy because he has no food. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. A warlock has become angry because he hasn't been paid. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. What the hell? All right. Level one. No, sir. You get your ass training. What level all these monks are, so I'll make sure they're training if necessary. A warlock Holy has left shit! Your dungeon. That is a lot of reading, Larson. Why are you trying to do this to me? How how very dare you? 
This is vintage TG, whatever that means. I don't speak 4chan lingo. Hmm. Lingo is the new word for it, by the way. Lingo. Lingo, lingo, lingo. Let's try this. Taken over an enemy treasury. Hmm. You try assaulting this room from the south, but there's so many, so many cannons. I'd still lose a lot of stuff. Your walls have been reinforced. has become unhappy because he hasn't been paid. I know that feeling, buddy. TG is traditional games. Okay, board games, role-playing games, collectible card games. Seems a little weird that role playing games are in there, but okay. become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. <laughs> A creature has died in your prison and is 40k memes. What are they doing in traditional games? There's no way 40k is traditional. <laughs> you have successfully interrogated an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Map information has been divulged by the victim in the torture chamber. Your guard room is too small. Mm. A hidden realm has been made available. A monk has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. No. What's happening he here? The realm of Malleus. The torture chamber. Oh, there we go. Vampires. I have to crush you first. I hope you are prepared. Uh -oh. You have taken over an enemy prison. Are they going to fight? Oh. 
You guys gonna fight or what? Oh, here they are. <laughs> I don't need to take these monks over. A mistress has become unhappy because she has remained in the hand of evil for too long. Oh, come on. She loves the hand of evil. Oh, I found a t shirt I might have to get. You, you know what the uh, logo of the little Pontiac Trans Am looks like, right? The Firebird logo? Right, right, yeah. Somebody redid it, but they now they made it look like the Japanese monster King Ghidorah. So it's like got the three heads and the. Oh, nice. <laughs> leg and wings. Yeah. <laughs> Get the monks. The monks. Monk. How many monks survived over here? Not many. Uh, these vampires can really get a shuffle on. Oh, some of those monks from up there are way to hell down here now. They're chasing the vampires around, I guess. Ah, <laughs> they've wandered into there too. Ah, dummies. I love it when one computer wanders into the other computer's uh, traps. A mistress has become unhappy because she has no lair. <laughs> the old man's speed shuffle on these monks. My legs are old, my teeth are gray. Mm -hmm. That was from uh, was the life of Brian. Well, you know you're old when your teeth are gray. Yeah. Or you're a smoker. I think, <laughs> I think that may have been a misquote. I, I know it best when you I like it, though. by Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> but yeah, uh, hey, I've known I've known some old people that did not keep up with dental care all that well, and probably mm. smoked and drank coffee their entire lives. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Just don't drink your tobacco or smoke your coffee. Mm, what was the? Or Charlie Daniels' song, Uneasy Rider, and a fellow, fellow with green teeth. Yeah. Uh, right, Dad kicked old green teeth square in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> old green teeth. Your prison is under attack. 
you have taken uh, if you've never heard of Charlie Daniels uneasy right that's an amazing thing about some hippie trying to make it to Cal California but he ends up going through Mississippi on his travels and he gets a flat and needs to stop and call a truck and yeah, ends up in some little redneck bar and trying to get out of there with his skin intact <laughs> yeah and it comes like he stuck his hair up under his hat so he can see how long it is when the hatchery is under attack he said but you got a big fella coming in with some old drunk chick and some old fellow with green teeth yeah uh, nearly out of there with my nearly out of there in the biggest one said tip your hat to this lady said when I did that hell or fell out from under the <laughs> but yeah <laughs> Laughing. Think now I'll reroute my trip. One of my friends think I'd flip if I went to LA via Omaha. <laughs> like I, I assume the they're nowhere near each other. I, I don't really know though. Uh, on Nebraska, you know, quite a bit north of Mississippi, yeah. Anything to avoid the deep south. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> we can capture that guy in time. Don't ignore my old men. <laughs> I always put him in here because he hasn't been paid. Gonna have to come through here anyway. <laughs> Tech priest Isaac Clark. I like it. I don't know who Isaac Clark is. So. Uh, he's the. Um, the dead space guy. Oh. The vampire has risen in your graveyard. Yeah, exactly. He's an engineer, so it works. He's an engineer, and he's because he hasn't. he's been driven mental loopy by a weird alien artifact. So he's kind of a priest in a way as well. Oh. sort of, not really, but you know. <laughs> what is this? Somebody posted something about forty K Gladius. What about over in the over in links? By two W O P R. A dark elf has become unhappy because uh, of just link about uh, your lad is maybe it was on sale or something. Something. You have taken over an enemy hatchery. Oh, but it's free. It's a hundred percent off. Well, yeah, I got mine as part of a sweet package with a yeah, it's a pretty good game. Game Oh yeah, I played a bit of it. All right, monks. I need you to subdue your previous friend, monks, for me. Oh, those guys are dead. <laughs> the enemy has taken your lair. No, I need to get my guys out of here. I'm too close to the cannons. You know what? It's time. Time to attack. I think I've 
killed all their vampires by now. You're taking over an enemy prison. You have taken over an enemy lair. Get them, me lads. in the torture chamber. Destroy that trap, please. Don't just stand there getting hit by it. You have taken over an enemy lair. It is payday. Your lair is under attack. Kick his big booty. You have taken over an enemy graveyard. His brain booty. You've been playing Subnautica on your Steam Deck, Larson. How's that going? Enemy has taken your lair. Your prison is under attack. Your graveyard is under attack. Is this your first time playing it then, Larson? You have defeated an enemy keeper. Yay. A day at the office. Yeah, I think the maze will work a little bit better than a whip on a skeleton. Men from the light into the clutches of darkness makes this victory all the sweeter. At last, you have claimed the final part of the horny talisman. Horny will now aid you in every quest you undertake. Use him wisely, as he is a tremendous drain on your mana. You didn't fully finish it the first playthrough, Larson. How far did you get? There are rumors of a dark uprising in the land of Fluttershine. Apparently, Keeper Carrion feels he is close to locating the Dark Angel's temple. You must move faster if we are to prevail. Peach Tree. Great news, Keeper. You have grown so strong, Horny himself has decided that time is right to join with you at the forefront of battle. The land of Peach Tree flows with magical energy. To summon your great ally, you must capture Lord Tiberius's mana vaults. These will provide you with all the power your black heart craves. My black your heart craves a lot of power. My nose. This fragrant land rejects you. I'll make sure of that. This kind of taunter they're making is <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not really a march. It Oh, look at me, look at me. I'm not so nice. Yeah, it's kind of a hop, 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 hop. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, very, it's very self important, isn't it? <laughs> Magic door. You have now power enough to summon Horny when you wish. 
but when you do, no matter how That hand is kind of yeah, yeah. Yes. Which lie with mm, yes. <laughs> yes. He's yours to call on and unleash to slay the cowardly, but well defined. It's in kind of like idle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. Now we've got all the talismans, so we can now be permanently horny. As if we weren't already. Oh, Larson, also, uh, after you finish Subnautica there, you should play the, uh, I think it's called Below Zero, the second game. Much, It's even better than the first. Good recommend there. <laughs> Definitely the vehicles are better. Cyclops was such a pain in the ass to use in the first game. To be to store gold. I did not care for it at all. It was too big and clunky. It got damaged too easily. Just a pain in the butt. <laughs> Oh, no. I'll save that for later. New soup video. GTA 5 mods gone wrong. It's like, oh, no. Hmm. I remember watching uh, the completionist trying to play GTA 4, I think it was. Hmm. Where they had, they had a mod that removed all friction from the world. So cars were just flying everywhere. Mm. Hmm. Medieval 2, a retrospective review of a forgotten cult classic. I remember those games. Yeah. Those get a remaster recently? I know at least one of them did. I forget which one. Or maybe all of them, I don't know. How many were there? Like I don't know three? either. I think there's maybe two or three. Down this path. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. I think I, I played two of them, but I don't remember if there was more than that. Nineteen, then that's recent ish. I see this is going to be another one of those maps where I have limited access to building space, huh? Mm -hmm. 
need a prison to impound enemy creatures. Hmm. Why does that one little bit sound like a truck going through a tunnel? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, I like the kind of like, like, you know, kind of like when they honked a horn and then it had that kind of reverb, like <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh yeah. dear! Oh my lord! That is a lot of bands. I don't know what I can deal with. That number of mans. But I guess I'm gonna have to. Mm. Uh, Your dungeon heart is under attack. Your lair is under attack. You need a graveyard to store corpses. Yeah, me and all this building space are going to build a graveyard. I'm sure. Get right on that, Chief. He's surfeit of sirs? <laughs> that needs to be a movie. That's a good title. <laughs> The magic door, though not as strong as steel, will fire balls of flame against those who breach it. So I'm stuck there and I can't do anything about that. You can destroy these portals, but you have to take over all the surrounding stuff, and I can't get to it. So that's a permanent portal I can't do anything about. But I guess that just means extra XP and mm -hmm. gold <laughs> get shipped back to me once in a while. Oh, I know, Larson. A surfeit of sirs could be a uh, a high class porn title. This sophisticated lady is being visited by many gentlemen callers. She has a surfeit of sirs. I was just about to attack that door and a bunch of guys just came out of it. Alright, get them, lads. Fine, be that way. Dark Lord and Ravenloft called the Gentleman Caller? I hope so. That would be great.
Get some rest. Yeah, I have to go through that door next. There's nowhere else for me to go. <laughs> He's not big on consent. Well, he is a Dark Lord after all. Darth Lord, just a powerful incubus. Yeah. Either way. Actually, this might be something, but I think that just goes to there. I guess I could have used that to bypass the door. Oh well. Surprise! Had all these enemy combatants, I can't turn into skeletons or anything else, but oh well. At least they should drop some money when they die, so I got something out of them, other than the XP from killing them. Get him. Yes. Eat that man. Ah. There you go. Twitch is getting a new uh, item. Let me see if I saved that. Well, that weird potion, uh, boost, whatever it's called. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Arcade Classics. Oh, okay. Hiding collection. We've got X Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Superheroes, X Men vs. Street hey, Fighter. Hey. Marvel vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2. You have claimed them. And I played the X-Men vs. Street Fighter a lot. Has become an all the has no food. one on fighting games, and then they include into it the side scroll beat em up, The Punisher. Oh. I, I think not know about that one. Side scroll beat em ups, why didn't they put the original X-Men arcade game in there? That's a classic. Right? Welcome to Die. <laughs> It's so, so what, is the town called Die? <laughs> That's just what Magneto said at the start of his boss fight. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. I wish they'd bring back some of Captain America and the Avengers. That would... You can't escape me. You will be the one escaping. Be my papa. <laughs> I like how he's like, 
you can't escape me, you're gonna be the one doing the escaping. I thought you just said I yeah. couldn't. <laughs> I think you said, like, you can't escape, and I said, I think you're gonna be the one, the one trying to escape. Oh, they said it to the, back to him, you mean, okay. Yeah. That would make a lot more sense. Yeah, that's the point. And it always is game over here. Like it, game, uh, the game over screen always, I guess, encouraging you to put a coin. America still needs your help. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Of course, I remember the. You remember the South Park pinball games? Nope. Oh yeah, that's a good one. One of the cool things and. About that time, if you try to hit the start button without having put in a, a coin, uh, is it two or three times, and then do one last uh, different message, the end will. So, without so Park, if you push it, you hear it comes like, man, even Kimmy family hit a quarter. <laughs> nice. And they do it the second time, then like, you are so poor. I think I like the last it. one was, I think Mr. Gary said, You go to hell! You go to hell and you die! <laughs> yeah. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's a South Park pinball game. That was kind of a fun one. And the thing is, it has switch on it. You can switch between the clean and not so clean versions of the sound effects and clips coming out of there. Oh dear. Like the part with Terrence and Philip Green where they start hitting stuff and on the clean version it sounded like just like them laughing, but on the not clean version it had them farting. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm. Stuff like that. I think the part we hit there's a little figure of Kenny in there, if you hit him, he'll say something muffled. But if in the clean, not clean version, though, it's still muffled, you can clearly hear him saying, fuck my bitch. <laughs> of course, that was the weird thing about the, uh, um, what's it called, uh, the fractured butthole video game? Yeah. Because when, uh, when Kenny is doing his superhero character, he can actually mm -hmm. talk properly. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mysterion, that was the point. Uh, You've taken over an enemy and then all that time, when he tells you his superpower, it's like, been what, it's finally explaining why he like, dies every episode that comes back next one. No yeah, problem. yeah, it's fun because they're all, all the kids are playing superhero, uh, yeah. but Kenny's the only one whose superpower is actually real. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually playing that game for a while before I realized Mysterion was Kenny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good game, though. Good game. Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. <laughs> oh yeah, there was just a Nintendo Direct today, I think. Yeah, it's up to Princess Zelda. Yeah, to save Hyrule in a brand new Legend of Zelda story. Well, you play Zelda in that one? I don't know. I'm looking at the thing. It looks it looks like Link. What's going? On? No, can you can you read that description to me again? I just see it's up to Princess Zelda to save Hyrule in a brand new The Legend of Zelda story. Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September well, 26 on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it's it does. It's up to her to yet. save, then that means you're playing her, right? Yeah, now it is. It looked like it wasn't, but now we say, okay, yeah. That's it cool. looks like she's captured, but Link's trying to save her, but at the last minute, something happens where he's fallen in some 
portal or something. <laughs> oh, no, it's Wanda's Gamble on all over again. Freeing her at the last minute, so now it's up to her to save the day. Hmm. I'm down with that. Nice. You said it's called Ages of Wisdom or something? Echoes of Wisdom. Echoes. That was close. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely down to play that. Hmm. Now to get here back to where it all began. Tywis Deadly Slasher X returns to theaters tonight with a special sneak peek of Maxine for a one night only nationwide fan event. So yeah. I don't know what X is. It's a slasher movie. About this group making a little adult video in some old house when apparently the residents are still there and not liking them being there. So the additional flash movie. Now, that spawned a pretty cool movie, Pearl. Well, now we're about to get released a sequel movie, Maxine. So, but apparently in a sneak peek. Of that, you're going to see the first movie again in the theaters. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. Also, we got the classic plot of uh, p people hump and then get killed by the monster, you know? Yeah. All right, I can finally make a new room of some sort. Uh... So we can do a casino in here. Can't make it too big though, because I don't have a lot of money. Hello, what's this? I see you have discovered a magical item. <laughs> I found a great welcome uh, at it. It says, welcome itch. Depends on who you are and how long you stay. <laughs> uh, I see you have discovered a magical item. Oh dear. Uh, I see you have discovered a magical item. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is payday. All right, guys, let's 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 fight. Creatures are in awe of your talent. Try not to get hit by the cannons, though, eh, guys? Hmm. <laughs> 
Speaking of cannons, let's attack the cannons now. Get them. Uh. Get them. Let's see. Some I repose that one with the new Zelda game says. <coughs> nice Zelda gets a chance. I want to co-op Zelda with the dwarves. Have been blessed with experience. I don't remember there being dwarves in any of those games. Well, the picture, this was like an early one. Enemy creatures. Must have been in some of them, I just don't remember it. And if they're the ones that do the, uh... The ones that make the swords, they hit dangerous to go... Dwar Dwarven Swordsmith. Well, you know what? I could put a... Well, I don't have enough money. I need a prison. See. This would be a decent spot for a prison, but I just don't have the money for it yet. Not see. Main appearance a link to the past. The dwarves? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, those are the guys that upgraded your weapon. That's right. Yeah. As you mentioned earlier, I remember them now, and they were in the town. Yeah. Oh, animation, just two so, <coughs> two doors on either end of a tail. Clank, clank. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. I don't know why this guy on... I think he was just being silly. <laughs> like, just a whole adventure with just the doors. <laughs> I mean, that would just be a whole other game, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I need more layer space. There we go. It's, it's, it's the napping hallway. Napping mm Eddie. -hmm. Oh shit. Surprise attack. <laughs> One of your imps does a great impression of you. He can even do the ears. Get these people back before they die. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to cut out early for the game, though. I'm gonna hop over to Kai. I'll see you later. Yeah, have a good one. I'm probably gonna end <laughs> soon myself. Alright. That goes super well. It must be a oh, there's way more base up there. That's why. Mm 
a salamander has become unhappy because it has no food. That's a terrible spot for that. The salamander has become unhappy because it has no food. Battle, you fools! Library is under attack. I'm going to lose level seven guy. That sucks. Lost the fight. One of your dark libraries has been destroyed. Look at this guy over here trying to burn, ban my books. How dare you. Man, your lad is under attack. <laughs> it is payday. Salamander has become unhappy because it hasn't been paid. Get him! Okay, good, finally. Oh god, there's more. I might be screwed. 
No, I'm not super high level, though. Well, you know, we'll deal with that later, because I have some stuff I need to do. Game save. So let us finish.